everyone, welcome to Stacey's Kitchen. And on today's episode of Stacey's Kitchen, I will be recapping some of the lovely recipes that, that stood out to me on last season. So stay tuned for that. So guys, today I have with me the very beautiful Janai Mohammed. She is one of our very intelligent and articulate young journalists. Hi, Jenna. So welcome Hi. to Stacey's Kitchen. Lovely to be here. Thank well, you for having me. you know, I wanted to choose somebody different <laughs> this time, you know, because I heard a lot about you and I know you do a lot of work with the feminine activists and stuff of like course, that. Yes, so, yes. you know, but um, I said nobody else suited than you to taste my stuff Ooh, <laughs> and so give excited. me some good reviews. That <laughs> a journalist, right? Of course, of course. We say facts. So, of course, I'll give amazing reviews. So, um, we basically just recapping some of the dishes that stood out, you know, mm -hmm. cost effective, uh, which was one of my main concerns mm -hmm. um, throughout doing Stacey's Kitchen for the past two seasons. Right. All right. So, let me see. What do you want to start with? Oh, well, I have been a fan of Stacey's Kitchen, actually. <laughs> Thank um, you. I'm really excited to try everything, but um, I think I want to go with the calori. Excuse me. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so, um, Janai, we use a lot of Chattak products. Right. Um, they are one of my main sponsors mm -hmm. and I'm very grateful to them. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I always enjoyed using their products. Mm -hmm. Even before a lot of people even started using Chattak, right. I was a fan of their lime pepper sauce. It's, to me, is yes, yes, it's like the best. <laughs> Definitely. So, um, ingredients wise, in the Polori, so I did this one with Josh Regrello. Of course, yes. yes. I watched that episode. <laughs> that yes. was so exciting. So he he was like, you know, he didn't realize it was so easy to do these things. Mm -hmm. So we actually did doubles and alu pie. Um, right. Doubles and um, pilori, and sorry, pilori, yes. yes. Using the same batter, mm -hmm. right? So what I did, I incorporated the Chattax Quickies powder right. in my flour mixture. Mm -hmm. And of course, I used all their herbs and spices. Great. So I mean, you could go ahead, you can try it. Hey, I'm so excited. Yes, and of course I have my tamarind chutney here from Chata. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the plate like we normally do. <laughs> okay, Alright, so go ahead. You're having one with me? Of course. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is good. And it isn't even hot out the pot, right? Mm -hmm. But it is so good. Mm -hmm. I love using the Aspectis powder in my polori or Chitty. doubles or even aloe pie. Mm -hmm. My grandmom used to cook with chasak all the time, so it yeah. tastes just like hers. I would recommend anybody <laughs> buy chasak products. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, so thank you. You're welcome. And also, um, we had um, a samosa. Okay. So I was taught to make this samosa. Um, we did the samosas with um, a company called Soka Samosa. Okay. So I mm -hmm. had Lisa, the person who invented these samosas, right. on my show as well. And again, a samosa is so affordable to make. And guys, when you look back, go and look back at my recipes, you will see how easy, but it tastes amazing. Mm -hmm. And again, we incorporated all of Chattak's herbs and spices mm -hmm. into the samosas. So I would like you to try one. Definitely. So I have there the pepper roti samosa and the chicken and potato. Okay. So you can go ahead and try. Which one is the chicken and potato? Um, <laughs> at this point, I don't know which one it is, but <laughs> go ahead and try. Um, okay. okay. It's, it's like, okay, so I'm thinking this is the pepper roti there. Okay. Well, I'll have one of these. Will you have one as well? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not as skinny as you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I always thought that these would be kind of difficult to make. No, it's very easy. And okay. I want you to go and try the recipes. Huh? Okay. I'll report that to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is good. This is really lovely. You have to try the pepperoni because I think we have the chicken and potato here. Okay. Yeah. I know we're supposed to be talking, but I'm yeah, so... Yeah, I know, oh. I know. <laughs> you can carry it away in the mm -hmm. eating, right? Mm -hmm. She's going to make him put on five pounds here today. <laughs> She's supposed to be tasting that, eh? honestly, and letting me know. This 
So, so um, then I while we eat, John, tell me a little bit about yourself now. Oh. Mm. Maybe red lipstick wasn't the best thing to wear today. <laughs> That's okay, man. <laughs> okay, so I am 24 years old. Um, I have been in New Zealand prior and I am an active journalist, um, freelance journalist. And I've actually been quite involved in activism for feminism as well as children's rights as well. Okay, okay, very yeah. good, very good. Yeah. You see why I have on the show? <laughs> <laughs> the full package. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so basically... And also a fan of Stacey's Kitchen, so of yeah. <laughs> I mean, the highlight, the highlight of me. <laughs> so I am so grateful to be here. This is actually my first time being a guest on a show Aww. instead of being the interviewee. <laughs> so this is amazing for me. Thank well, you Well, it's so all much. my pleasure, our pleasure. Of course, of course. <laughs> all right, so um, I want you to try the pepperoni, okay. which to me, out of all the samosas that we made, that Lisa taught me to make, I thoroughly enjoy, enjoy mm -hmm. the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to just put it so good. <laughs> Pick your <lady> crumbs. <laughs> okay. If you want, I can share it with you if you don't want to eat the entire okay. thing. I don't want to be too greedy on camera. <laughs> but if you want the whole thing, you can have it, Ooh. eh? Guys, you can see Shirelle enjoying this, eh? Um, <laughs> oh, cheers, cheers. <laughs> okay, so tell me. Are you a spice fan, by the way? Um, to a to degree. A, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I am, I am. But I really, really like this. It's very tasty as compared to just a regular hot, spicy um, type of samosa. It's yes. really nice. Yeah, it's yeah. not overwhelming. No, it's really. Now, she does have the scorpion pepper samosa, which we had Josh do, and he was all over the floor <laughs> dying. But mm. you know, that was, that was a really nice episode as well. And it's so simple to make these things, guys. You know, so please. Um, after yesterday, I had people uh, messaging me, you know, we enjoy looking at the show, mm -hmm. you know, things like that. And of we've course, been trying yes. the recipes, so, mm -hmm. you know, that's good, good feedback, definitely, you know. Definitely, definitely. This is my first time trying her products, uh, her, her cooking, and I must say, like, this is better than what I've seen on screen. <laughs> so, this is amazing. Thank you. So, there was this one episode that we did, mm -hmm. um, Tea Time Treats. Right. And... So I did those with my aunt. Um, she was unable to make it today. Okay. Um, but I mean, we learn so much from the older mm -hmm. generation. Simple, again, cost effective, you know? Yes. So um, if I may, okay. you can try the. These are mini alu pies. I love and guys, what do you remember that? But this is so simple. I mean, just, just go ahead. Okay. <laughs> So you can just have half if you don't want the entire thing. I do want the entire thing. Okay, I just good. don't want to well, eat it later. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll reserve half for later. <laughs> so tell me, Stacey, what was like your favorite thing to make out of all of the the dishes that you have prepared? Let me tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed making those samosas. Mm -hmm. To be honest, right. and even the pops. Mm -hmm. That was something that I could never get down clean. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, and when she showed me how to do it, it was like back of my hand now, you know? Mm -hmm. It's so simple, and you can do different fillings. Today we just have some cheese, but you can okay. do tuna, you can do chicken. Right. I mean, when you have kids like myself and you have people come over. So these are easy to prepare? Yes, Super very easy. Okay. These are like 10 minute things. Mm -hmm. Pops? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so it's just to mix it, mm -hmm. boom, boom, and it doesn't take you know, very long. Um, and guys, you would see exactly how to do it on the um, shows. We will be doing repeats, so look out for it. So what do you think about the alu pie? Mm. I love it. And it's I light? Very. Yeah. No, I love the amount of filling you have yes, inside it. Yes, yes. Very generous. <laughs> um, Tell me, what do you use in your filling? All right, so well, we use potato. Mm -hmm. um, I use a little bit of butter. Okay. And of course, our chatak herbs and spices to bring out those flavors. Mm. Paprika, jeera powder, of course, yeah. you know, um, cayenne pepper, basil. They have everything, everything. I can definitely taste the cumin inside. Yes, it. really yes, good. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Actually, that is a secret ingredient that a lot of people don't really know about. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Try some of chatak jeera powder in your barbecue sauce. That makes all the Barbecue difference. Sauce. Yes, okay. yes. If you want that, you know, Mexican kind of flavor, mm -hmm. it's 
same old little Jira, cumin. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. Lovely. So I mean, I don't want to make you put on a lot of weight, but you know, I you have to taste everything <laughs> here. Um, so we're gonna go to the puffs. Mm -hmm. So feel free to try one. Oh, we're just rotating it. Yes. yes, and <laughs> it's very simple. As I said, the puffs are very, very simple very affordable to make and when you look back at my show with Auntie Merle, um, I mean these things are amazing. So cute. <laughs> very. You should get a good look at So this. let me give you a little secret. So Nature's Charm, mm -hmm. it's vegan and they um, gluten -free? provide me. Yes, gluten free, mm -hmm. you know, dairy free, everything. And I used a bit of their coconut cream in that um, cheese coconut filling. Cream. Yeah. I'll be able to taste it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I try to not make it overpowering because you know everybody have their, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is great. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you can mix your cheese. Now I did a, my cheese actually tastes a little bit tangy because it has like parmesan or you know, but I'm a little pepper. Parmesan. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, I love parmesan. But you so can much. use regular cheese, regular <laughs> yellow cheese. As somebody told me one day, rat cheese. Rat cheese. <laughs> Funny, but you know our regular local cheese, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think about the puff and the texture? I think it's very okay. I'm, I'm squishing it down so that I can eat it, right? But look at it; it's really, really nice and airy. Yep. And the space that it has inside of it makes it so light yep. and just really lovely to have in terms of like when you have refreshments, yes. parties, very tea party, with tea so party good. you know, so good. So. Mm -hmm. And kids love those things too, you know, like you know to take to school. Mm -hmm. You realize kids don't like heavy food. So just one they day, one thing. realize how healthy this is either. It's just on so. the go, you know, like mm -hmm. that. So now, tell me, um, the mango drink. Oh, <laughs> my favorite. Listen, oh. this was so simple. It's just as you know, guys, you would see we were making it together. It's just our mango punch, our Julie mango, mango, our coconut <laughs> milk from Nature's Charm, mm -hmm. and also a bit of the whipping cream is nice in it. And if you want added sugar, you can use the Nature Strong Coconut Condensed Milk. Right. Yeah, so cheers, let's... Cheers! Mm. To wash it all mm -hmm. down, yeah. I but know, I know. The mango is so <laughs> fresh. <laughs> so good. So guys, I have two more treats. Um, so stay tuned for that. Welcome to the Chatak's Kitchen, where it's tastier and spicier. For even more taste, cook with Chatak's Amchar Masala, Saffron, Ground Jeera and Black Pepper. Mix in Chatak's mild, spicy Omadras curry. Get a burst of excitement with a mango Amchar, Homsa Day and Mango Kuchila, Lime and Pepper Chunks, West Indian Hot Sauce and Lime Pepper Sauce. Plus, Chatak's Tamarind and Mango Chutneys are perfect with Kalori and Sahina. So make your kitchen a Chatak Kitchen. Chatak's Fruit Products bringing good taste to life. Connect with ACTN The Voice on Facebook or Instagram at ACTN The Voice. ACTN The Voice, your family-friendly station. Okay, so Janai, mm -hmm. the last main course before dessert. <laughs> This girl Raleigh really is here today. Yeah. yeah, she's now saying she's 99 pounds, so she yeah. needs a little 10, a little 10, yeah, a little 10 pounds. <laughs> you know? Alright, so you would have seen, because uh, you told me that you looked at the show. Of and, course, yes. So this is a breakfast tortilla. 
very versatile, but very you have affordable. Use on it. Yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so, guys, basically, it's just you know um, some sautéed beef mm -hmm. with, with of course, our chatak spices mm -hmm, and um, cheese. Uh, it's just three layers of them, and kids love this. Mm -hmm. And um, I grow my jalapenos at home. You do? Now? Yes, okay. I have a tree, and um, so these are things you could keep around the house. Right. Um, somebody might look at this to go to a restaurant and pay mm -hmm. like a hundred something dollars for at this. At least, yeah. You buy the one box of this home, mm -hmm. and uh, listen, about four or five people could eat from that. You know, that right. is why I use things that could last. You know, course, so like yes. once somebody had said, um, but whipped cream is expensive. But they didn't look ahead that you can use that tin of whipped cream mm -hmm. at least three times. Right. So that's what, you know, things in your pantry. Right. You could reuse, you know, so it works with your budget. Of course. You yes. know, so you don't have to go back and buy a next one. You could have fancy dishes all the time, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know. So it's time to taste our breakfast tortilla. So let me try and cut this decent here. Mm -hmm. Um, how long did it take you to prepare it? Uh, all of 10 minutes. <laughs> the longest time was to melt the cheese in the toaster oven. Right. Or you could use your microwave right. or your normal, you know, mm -hmm. oven at home. Mm -hmm. Right? So, let's um, dig in here. So, I am going to cut it for you. Put some of the little chips on the top. I mean, don't kill it with your peppers, right? Yeah, please. <laughs> I, I like spicy, so... Well, then this one is yours. <laughs> oh, so you don't want... Oh, okay, okay. No problem. <laughs> I, I given her the bigger piece, because she, yeah. Oh, my. She could eat it. Whoopsie. My mouth is watering. It is. Just, just smelling it is. this. It looks so Here you go. Lovely. But you can eat with your hands, huh? I can. Yeah. But I'm on television, so I won't. <laughs> I'm going to eat the little, little, you know, the little filling that fell out mm -hmm. here. Mm, amazing. I think I'll use my hands. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I can see the layers of cheese that you have in here, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm not hyping up myself, but 10 out of 10, you know? Of course, of course. <laughs> mm. This is something that you can definitely make for to serve an entire family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on a morning where you're kind of late and you're rushing through. Guys, look at the layers. How yummy is that? Mm-hmm. So silly. You know, I'm coming on your show. <laughs> and my mom is gonna watch this and she'll be like, Chanai, you don't need to put this much in your home. <laughs> Stacey told you to make those things. You have to go on and impress her now. And my mom. Okay, so now <laughs> I'm thinking that this is the thing I love the most. <laughs> yeah. The chips in it is mm -hmm. really, really good though. Yep. Mm. I, I see that you're loving it. I am. I really am. I love everything. I don't know what I like more. Probably well, this. We have something sweet mm -hmm. that we're going to, you know, end off with. Right. Because after you have some spice, you must have something sweet. Definitely. So, guys. We have some coconut fudge. Oh, I remember this. Yes. Oh, yeah. Non-dairy, gluten-free, all made with Nature's Charm products. You cannot go wrong, guys. Mm -hmm. As you would have seen, um, we had your rep. Right. Yeah, she I was remember. on, so Kim was here, but she can make it today as well. Okay. Um, you know, this time of the year, a lot of people are doing stuff. Definitely, yeah. You know? So, um, but it's good to have a different point of view. Of course. You know? Okay. And I know that you are one will tell me, oh, I'm already too late, you know? Yeah. Sorry, and I like I'll that about it. you. Yeah, but so far, <laughs> like, I've, I've been telling myself that, you know, okay, I'll just keep it honest and whatnot, and then I honestly love everything here, so. Listen, you know. that tortilla. Amazing, amazing. Yes, it is, it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so I would like you to try my coconut non-dairy fudge. I will. And exactly. give me your honest opinion. Okay. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. This is a, a right amount of sweetness. Yeah. Because typically I would have had coconut fudge um, to be a lot sweeter. Right. You know, sometimes you would go to the mall or you would go to yeah. some of those um, mm-hmm. vendings and like they would have extremely sweet coconut fudge mm-hmm. and then even their milk fudge as well might be overwhelmingly sweet right I'm, I'm more of a tangy person okay yeah so, myself included yeah yes so having something that mm-hmm. i can eat that is sweet but tolerant right amazing mm-hmm. for me mm-hmm. really good and i love the touch of the almonds on yes top. So really nice. I incorporated coconut flakes inside of it, and Warm. I just stuffed it with the almonds. Mm-hmm. You know, and guys, these um <clears throat> these products are also affordable and amazing. Trust me, you could use this in anything in your tea. Yeah, you know, and it the whipping cream. It tastes gourmet. Yeah, so it was just a mixture of this, this, and some sugar, mm-hmm. and I sprinkled some of the chatak spices on it as well. A little paprika. Mm-hmm. They have a cardamom powder, right? And maybe two splashes of the angostura bitters. Nice. And that was it. You know, you just make sure that you... But texture is important. So guys, look at what we did on that last show. Lovely, yeah. yeah. So what would you say is your signature dish <clears throat> out of all of these? I think the tortilla. I think so too. I think that is something everybody will, you know, rave about. <laughs> it's so simple. Like, Definitely. let me tell you, you just buy your tortilla wraps or whatever. I feel in the next season, I will show people how to make the wraps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You so open a restaurant just selling that. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I hope you enjoyed everything here today. Well, I mean, I, I know you did. I am. I know you did. I am, I am. And um, I mean, you can let everybody know what you thought about today and, you know, your I first love. experience being on a, <laughs> being on a foodie. Side, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is amazing for me. I I love the host herself, um, but I, I really do enjoy how cost effective and I mean, the food itself is not complex and it looks gourmet. It looks like you need to buy it in order to try it when you can make it at home. So this is amazing for me. Thank so you. So like on the, you're most welcome. On the first season, mm-hmm. I did things like dinner for two. Right. On a budget, right. you know, and people were like, wow, we never know we could have done that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not saying don't go to a restaurant and buy, but, mm-hmm. you know, at that time we had the pandemic. Right. Everywhere was closed. Mm-hmm. So we basically came up with the idea of Stacey's Kitchen really to do meals on a, on a budget based on what was taking place, mm-hmm. you know, and we will continue to do it. You know, of course. as I said, I'm not saying don't go to a restaurant. Of course, we have to support. Yes, certainly. You know, but these are things that a lot of people still can't afford to go out and buy food. You, you could have your mm. restaurant in your home. Especially as an on-the-go university student, this is something that I have no choice but to endorse myself yep. in. Um, and for me to be able to make these kinds of things to impress others as well, mm-hmm. I mean, like, look at it, look at the quality, it's amazing. So. I think everyone should take a page out of your book. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And we will be having her on in the next season. (laughs) Upcoming, she'll be cooking. I'll yeah. be cooking. Yes, you will be cooking. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, of course, you're going to be my sous chef. Oh, I'm yeah. so excited yeah. already. <laughs> Come up with your recipes. Okay. And we're going to be doing some of her recipes, right? So she's going to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Janai, it was so lovely having you here Thank today. You so it was much a for really, me. really nice way to end my season two. Oh, I'm honored. Thank you, Stacey. <laughs> and guys, special thanks to Chatak and Nature's Charm and everyone who sponsored things here today. Thanks to all my guests who were here on the last season. It was greatly, greatly appreciated. So guys, do not forget to check us out on ACTN. Our WhatsApp number is 393-ACTN. Please call us, message us, let us know what you think. And guys, I wanted to challenge them for the, the upcoming season three to send me some recipes. Great. You know, you should. I, I have some things in store. We're going to be giving away some prizes. Lovely. <laughs> yes, for the people who have the most precise recipes, we're mm. going to be trying it. All right. So, guys, it was lovely being here. Um, well, usually the show will be every Monday at 6.30 p.m. on okay. ACT and The Voice. So, check us out then. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for having me, too. Yes. <laughs>